You know what? I am going to make the coronation one of the best. In fact, the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, that is it. What do you think about that? It's okay. That's what you want. What is going on? What is this thing I hear about? You wanting to kill yourself? Huh? If this is a way for you to discourage me, you better think well, bro. If you you startled us. What, I startled you? You want to begin to imagine how I felt when father told me about his intentions to take the other title? Have you gone insane? See, I... Um, you know what? I am not in the mood for these arguments today. Okay? Oh, I see. You, 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 you are clearly not insane. I've just lost... <laughs> Again? Again? What am I going to do now? I have no idea. No idea. What was I thinking? What were we all thinking? We shouldn't have brought up this topic of an Ozor title. In fact, who invented the Ozor title in the first place? That person must be very crazy. Because he has killed all of us. He has succeeded in heaping hot coal over our heads. Your Majesty, we thought he gave us a good thing. But in reality, he has given us a great punishment. A very horrible, absolutely terrible... Your Majesty! Take me to him. Take me to him! Can someone begin to explain to me what exactly is going on here? We have absolutely no idea, Father. Doctor, I don't understand what you're saying. I was told that the lab will run extensive tests on my blood, my urine and saliva and everything. How come you're telling me that nothing is being found? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> that means I'm fine. Wow. It's okay. It's okay, Doctor. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. is being found. Then why am I sick? You is very pure be more. I might not be perfect, but I love The festival of maidens is in two days. Two days. I know. And that is exactly why I decided to take the title tomorrow. Are you doing this because of the princess? My son, I would have you know that the people of Umwebe have decided that the princess can conduct the ritual even though she's married or not. I know. But if I take the title and survive, that means the people of Umarola will no longer be seen as outcasts and the princess will be free to conduct the festival without any label on her forehead and she should be accorded a high level of respect as Ozo's wife. And what if you don't survive it? Your Majesty, I am going to take the title whether you like it or not. You know I have the power to get the people of Umebe who will be glad 
to put the title on my head by the end of the day. Very well then. He will have the title. But no elaborate ceremony. Because I don't want the people of Umwebe, including my children, to stone me to death should anything happen to you. Deal. That is what I want. Yes? I beg your pardon. What do you mean by tomorrow? Hello? Hello? Obiago drop phone on me. Obiago drop call on me. Ha! Obiago is going to die. Obiago is going to die. It will be your fault. The fault of the king. The fault of Ife Melodike. The fault of whoever it is that invented the dangerous Oso title. Ekweme. Ekweme. You disrespected the sacred abode of your ancestors. By pointing your filthy finger at the chief priest. The SADB of the Kingdom, Eye of the Gods, the mediator between the known and unknown, seen and unseen. How dare you, mere mortal? Hey, the poet, let me talk. Don't do that. Because if you do, you go home with a sizable whittle on that finger. Right here. I will point it again and again and again. All this is happening because of my so-called ancestors. I will shout and I will point the fingers again. If anything should happen to my nephew, it's a DBA. If anything should happen to Obiago, I will... You will do what? You will do what? No. Oh, you empty material a mundanic skull. A mundanic skull like you. You do what? What do you want to do? What do you think you can do? Like I said, Except you want to return your home with a size of wheat on that finger right here. You disrespected the sacred abode of your ancestors. You come here to rant like a madman, to bark like a mad dog. Now leave this sacred obi this moment. Leave! Ezedibia! Ezedibia! Ese dibia. Ese dibia. My love. I don't like what you're doing. See, there is no guarantee that anything may happen if I should take the title. So why don't you relax? It's not about having faith. It's about what is being said. I don't want anything to happen to you. No, nothing is going to happen to me, my love. Listen, I am going to take the title and nothing will happen to me. Why are you so stubborn? My love, you're getting it all wrong. I am not stubborn. You may call me an extremist. If I decide on something, I must go to the end till I get it. I don't understand it. I need to understand it. What has come about the other? 
Why is he so determined to do this tomorrow? Tomorrow! Tomorrow of all days. If it all goes seriously, you are disturbing my peace. Have you not been hearing me? Have you not been listening to all that I have been saying? That's the point. I have been listening to every single thing you've said. But your problem is making my own problem worse, Ibidio. What do you mean by what you have just said, Beauty? Beauty, do not! Don't you dare walk out! What is wrong with this woman? I ask again, who exactly have I married? Your Majesty, if Obiago wants to take the Ozo title tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, it's already an Ozo title holder. Just like that? Were you expecting me to disagree with you? I was expecting you to say that you needed more time to be fully prepared. I was expecting you to say you, you, we, we, we needed to take some precautionary measures for the safety of Obiago's life. I was expecting you to hey, put things... do respect your majesty. You are the second person that has walked in here today to yell at me. And as a matter of fact, it is beginning to get on my nerves. If Obiago wants to take the other title tomorrow, he will take it. But, but are you not trying to see what I'm trying to explain to you? If that is not but. That is final.
Are you going to hit me? Go ahead and hit me. Go ahead and hit me, Upiago. I'm not going to be alive and watch you commit suicide. It is not going to happen. Never. Uncle, for the last time, leave my way. Move me. Go ahead and move me. For you to leave this house today, you will have to move me. Yes. Uncle, whether you like it or not, I am going to take that title. Fine. Good. Move me. Uncle. Uncle. Yes? I... What is it? What is it? Did you, did you hit him? Up. Uncle, did you do I... anything to him? I did not touch him. Uh... Yeah, my God. Okay. 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 What is it again I now? Oh, are you sure you didn't hit him? Obi Abu. Obi Abu. Obi Abu. Obi. Obi. Come back here. Huh? Where are you going? Why do you know in Umweme? Who do you know in Umweme that you're going to visit? My parents. I said I am going out. I did not tell you where I am going to. Or who I am going to see in Umwebe. So, why don't you just, just leave me alone and mind your own business? You are my business, beauty. We have an all-important ceremony today here in this palace that requires the presence of all intimate family members of this royal family. And you dare to step out? Intimate. That's the word. I am your wife. I am not your sister. Not your father. So please, would you just leave my way and let, let me just go? If please. you are my wife, what makes you a bona fide member of this family? Yes. Hello. What? Again? When did this happen? Hmm? It's okay, thank you, thank you. Oh yes, he's down. Oh, that is it. This event is cancelled. This event is not cancelled. Did you not hear what my son just said? I heard what your son just said clearly. But I also know that Tobiago is quick to recover from this strange illness of his. So I say we wait. Wait for what? For him to come here to die? I doubt if that is the will of the gods. So, we wait. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You claimed on social media, on the news, that your hospital is the biggest in Nigeria, even in Africa, and you can't provide an air ambulance. Shame on you! I hope your hospital burns. I hope this country burns. I hope everybody burns. Um, Obiago. Uncle, what are we going to do? I don't know. Please. Obiago. Please. Oh, Chime. Eh? Obiago. Are you all right? Obiago, are you okay? Yes. What is wrong, Obiago? I see it happened again. How? Oh. 
kami. Huh? I am very much all right. Like nothing happened. Yes, I'm strong now. Just like that. Uncle, huh? we are running late. Let's go. Obiago, go where? Are you out of your mind? Obim, what are you saying? Now look at more. The things out of me now are fear and cowardice. If anything, or any spirit being wants me dead, they might as well take their last strike while I take the title. Obim! Are you coming with me or not? Are you? A princess, a blanket. Oh, my love for you is very pure. Be more. I might not be perfect, but I love you. No. We have come to the climax of a very rigorous process. I have made inquiries from all the laws of Ugiri in Umwebe. And the girls have confirmed that the residents of Obiago has flushed the cause place on them. A cause placed by one of them. In anger, in frustration, in bitterness. As I initiate him into the otherhood. May the cause be lifted forever. Ezamo, Akidia Maokani, you are the man of the gods, and I hold you in higher esteem. I know you cannot deceive us. I thank you so much, Equime, for that compliment. But I'm wondering, where is this compliment coming from? The king has already ruled that the initiation takes place privately. And that is why we are not involving anything but music, any other thing that go with other initiation. For now, it's not needed. That is where I'm coming from. If this initiation is going to kill him, please let it be stopped. We don't want to lose him. Ezemo, he fainted again today. He finally woke up and insisted he must come for the initiation. I am here and ready, very ready for the initiation. If both of you are not going to stay and witness it, please go home and wait for me. Are you sure you will be alive to come home in one piece? And I'm beginning to feel that both of you are resisting the gods. Both of you are resisting the gods. How? We don't want to lose him. Don't want to lose him. Yes! His resilience has wiped off a lot of curses and has opened a very new page. A new page in Umwebe. So he must be initiated today. <laughs> Having fulfilled all the requirements, I, in my position as Ezamo of Umebe Kingdom, signing before the seat of our progenitor, hereby declare you full fledged Ozo title holder. Even rock and the fool, 
demand an explanation as to what happened. And I expect you to start talking now. And I will advise you to be calm, my king. Be calm. So people will not understand our king as waging war against the gods of Umwebe. What exactly do you mean by that? I was the one that approved for him to be given the title. He finally got declared as an ozo. And now all he could do is to transfer the curse upon my daughter? Why would he do a thing like that? Why? Your Majesty, I know you want to get him arrested. But don't do that. I can't. Don't do that. I advise you, don't. Because if you do, the forces that watch over Ozo title will come for you. What am I supposed to do now? My princess is lying lifeless at the palace right now as we speak. Doing nothing is not an option, and you know it! And I might interest you to know that the princess has gone in to commune with the departed souls of Umada in preparations for the festival. So, do not panic. Is it Dibia? Do you mean to say that the gods were behind what happened to the princess today? Are you trying to say that the princess will be okay before the prayers? Is that what you're trying to say? Things will unfold in accordance with the dictates of the gods at the right time. Be calm and let's look forward. But Father, this happened in the morning. There is still time. Push your night. It's already 6 p.m. Check the time. Even then, Father, she will wake up. I mean, she has to. Tomorrow is the Festival of Maidens. What if she doesn't? Uh -huh. This is why we are having this discussion. What if she doesn't wake up? No, Father. I... I, I don't... Father, I don't even know what you want me to say or do, but... Uh, I uh, the prince has a wife. All of you made it. You have to pass whatever thing that we are facing now. Settle for her. That is not a good idea, if you ask me. What do you mean? Your sister is sick. We have no idea what is wrong with her. There is no guarantee that she will be well by tomorrow. Unless you have a better idea, I think we are sticking with the choice of your wife. Dad, what I'm saying is that things uh, between my wife and I uh, haven't been, you know, good for some time. And I doubt if she would be enthusiastic or even interested in, you know, performing the festival ritual. But I am, um, I'm very much interested. Greetings, Your Majesty. Bye, very much interested in what? In performing the festival rituals, Your Majesty. And I just got back home. Uh, I've seen everything that has happened to the princess. I, I, I couldn't just help it but to feel pity for her, Your Majesty. So if performing the festival is, is a way to help, why not? I am willing. 
To you, my love. You know, I've just been thinking everything that's been happening between us and uh, I just want to say I'm sorry. Please let bygones be bygones. Just like that. Shh. I said I'm sorry. Well, a good actor will always know when is the best time to make a solitary exit. If you will excuse me. Thank you, my love. So, am I forgiven? Before we begin, I would like to welcome the select maidens of Fumoro. Initially, you were not supposed to be part of this festival because of a curse that ostracized you from other villages. But now that everything is over, I am so glad to welcome you in our midst. Thank you. Are, are the maidens in the house? Yes. <laughs> None. I would like to remind us that we need a prayer, a serious prayer, for the speedy recovery of our beloved princess. But again, I would like to also call upon the person that decided to save this day on our behalf. Here is your task. Listen. You pick that that is floating on top of that water, scoop some water, lift it up, pray for the princess, and pour the water in there. Young woman, why are the gods rejecting you? You are not talking. Because I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't. You don't know? Really? God, repeat what you've done. Mm -hmm. Pick this, scoop some water, pray for the princess, and pour the water there. you for the very last time. Why are the gods rejecting you? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Oh. You don't know. Okay. Once again, scoop water from here, 
lift it up, pray for the princess, and pour the water in there. Now, Unketa, give me one eta. Ota. What is going on? Huh? Can someone please tell me what is going on here? It all started. What? You called me on the phone for that matter. This doesn't happen except on a special occasion. The people of Umebe Kingdom are about to celebrate their festival of maidens. And it appears that everything has been sabotaged as their princess has fallen in love with an outcast. Oh, I see. According to their custom and tradition, the king will have to appoint another maiden that will oversee the festival of the maidens. And that maiden is you. Me? <laughs> How is that possible? Because I am not even from Omoebe. I know. Once you become a wife, a wife to the prince, that will automatically make you a maiden. Of whom may be kingdom. How is that possible? A love charm may not work on the maidens of whom may be kingdom, but I don't think that that is the same with their maid. Oh, wait. Are you, are you saying I am going to use a love charm on the prince? No, I mean, yes. You are going to use a love charm on him, but not the kind of love charm I make and give to people. Well, let me get something. If you are not going to give me a love charm that I will use on the prince, what love charm am I supposed to use on him then? You. Me? In as much as I can produce a powerful love charm in Igbo land, I am also aware that there is no love charm that is as powerful as the Seju works of a beautiful betting. That, my dear, that is what you're going to use on the prince. You will go to him. You will do everything possible to make him notice you. As soon as he does, you are going to make him see you as his wife. And that is where your mission begins. Oh, okay. And after that? And after that, beauty, the king will be compelled to choose you as a nice maiden who is qualified to handle the rituals of the maidens. Wait, I thought the, the whole thing is just to get the prince to marry me. I thought that's just the whole mission. 
Over the years, I've been able to produce a love charm that is very powerful in all of I have applied it on every kingdom successfully, but I have not been able to successfully apply it on the maidens of Umebe Kingdom. They say that the festival of the maidens is the cause. I want you to go to Umebe Kingdom and sabotage that festival of maidens for me. Just set your eyes on the prince and that is where my work comes in. I will handle everything from my little kingdom. Beauty, when you do this for me, I am going to give you the kingdom of Umebe. You are going to rule over their kings and queens. The kings, the young, the aged will be under your control. You will rule the people of Umebe kingdom. Why is it that she is not even saying a single word? <laughs> She's going to die here and we may not even know the reason. Ezedibia, this is not normal. Do something, Ezedibia. <laughs> The last time we talked, I warned you and I told you I will only spare your life on one condition. And that condition is for you to stay clear. Stay away from my kingdom. Stay away from my kingdom. Now, what changed? <laughs> What's changed? Does it mean you no longer love yourself? You no longer like to live? You no longer like to have a long life? What is the problem with you? It's a pity. It's a pity! The fact that you think that you can walk all over me like you did before. The fact that you think that you are stronger than myself is a laughable pity. It's a deep year of maybe kingdom. <laughs> Of course, it is a lovable pity. Everything you've been displaying here, <laughs> jogging, jumping like a little rat, is a lovable pity indeed. Oh, yes! I told you. Why is that the job for Sichia Potaka? What? Tell me. 
how did you perpetrate this unnatural mission? Little mission, you say? Ah, yeah! Before you start talking, I would like to make something. Look at me, Shivren. Look at me, Shivren. I am not finished. What's that? I am not done. his fathers and a mere man who does talisman charms and relates little little things for me how do you mean i have come to let you know that i am aware you sent that maiden to catch the prince you equipped her just to destroy the prince. To catch the prince. In the speed of light. What do you stand to gain? What do you stand to gain, Wanza? I am a man who succeeded in manipulating not just only the prince, but the entire Umebe kingdom. Should I not be respected? Should you not respect me for that? Akede, should you not respect me for that? Everything is falling apart. The king will have no choice than to accept Obiako as his son-in-law. Which means the princess will still go on with the festival rituals. I ask, what am I still doing in the palace? What? I saw everything here. You don't need to repeat the event. But I insist you stay. Why? Why would I stay? If I didn't know you very well, I'm beginning to think that you're beginning to fall in love with the prince. I have not fallen in love with anybody. Just, I'm just, I'm just tired of this fake life. I just, I just want to leave the palace. I am tired. A little more patient, more patient, beauty. More patient. If you do not do something, I will make sure I do everything to make the prince hate me. I will frustrate this marriage. I, I, I just want to leave here. You just need to, you need to leave me. Take me out of the palace. I am tired. I am tired. Take me out! Mm. Your king refused to play my game. Your king refused to play my game. He refused the prince to marry the maiden I sent to that godforsaken palace. And I dealt with him. I flogged him from here. Your Majesty, what is it? 
What's what, what, what it? Someone slapped me. Where? Did you see what it was? How? I, I, I think it's a ghost. Ah! It goes with ah! What's the problem? Why are you scaring me? I'm aware of all those. I am aware. I know of that event. But I ask you, you flogging the king metaphysically. What's that? What do you stand to gain? What is your gain? The cost. On Umrola has always been my gain. The cause on Umrola has always been my gain. But you stupid men of Umeba Kingdom are planning to retrieve that cause. And that is not good for me. Take back. You are too small. How dare you? A little thing. Now listen. No, no, no. Stay quiet. For your own good. Make one more effort. For a dead man. Hey! You are a dead man. To the tribe, everybody thing. You are just too smart for me. The ghost. The ghosts are behind this. Solidly behind this. To hear the land. One more effort for a finished human being. You little human being of a little vet. Hey, don't try any funny thing. Listen, you, man of talisman, charms, mullet, vanity, whatever of a very low level in the darkened world. But I am a man of the gods. Don't dare me! Don't dare Umwebe! Don't dare the gods! Little rat! The festival of the marriage can never, never be cancelled. What it means is that we must celebrate it today. That we must do. But I will request to be given some time so I can settle this little misunderstanding. <laughs> Is a Dibia. What is the meaning of this? Iberian no Kalian Wusi. Madame Kepelim Penelim Pake. Your Majesty, what it means is that we have a lot to discuss about. A lot. <laughs> Why? You do why? I can't believe this. Why? Why? Why did it have to be me? Why? I'm so sorry, my prince. And all this time, I thought that I had found love. I thought that I had found the love of my life. I was happy with you. Why? 
Why? I thought... I thought that all was good between you and I and I was ready to settle down and start my own family. And you do this to me? Please, I'm sorry. I... I am so sorry, please. Forgive me. Please. Was any of this real at all? Is that a part of this that was real? Or was it all of us? Beauty. My parents. It's impossible to deceive someone into giving you your heart without losing a part of yours. Please, I beg you. I am sorry. Forgive me, please. Gods. My king, my prince. Throw this to my heart. And to think that all this while we've believed that people of Umurella were outcasts. My daughter was constantly harassed for nothing. Your Majesty, you are not going to blame yourself. If only there was a sign. There was none. I believe it is time for me to put an end to this madness. Your Majesty. How, how, how do you mean? Oyeze, are you going to tell me what you plan to do? Father, as you are aware, Obiago has been confirmed as the first son of Omorola to be bestowed with a very prestigious title of also of Umwebe in a very long time, Father. Is it here is present to confirm this as an act of the gods? Exactly. I am in a position to confirm that the gods allow it to be this way for a reason. And what do you think is the reason? Healing in the land. It is obvious we have aged for so many years in the past. And the gods on their own decided to correct us. And on the strength of that, Father, is there anything that would not allow you? Give your blessings so that your daughter can marry the man that she truly loves. Then who is that man? Who oh, yeah. The one that we all thought to be an Uso. The one that you constantly fought. The harder you fought him, father, the more you were halted. Now we can see that all these things were engineered by the gods. I ask you now, Dad, now that our human strength has failed us, are you going to please allow the gods have their way? Princess. Father. Are you sure this man loves you enough to make you his wife? Yes, Father. He loves me dearly, and I love him too. If you can approve of us, tomorrow he will come and get married to me. If that be the case, who am I? I approve of this union. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I see you. 
that declaration worthy of all of whom we the kingdom. God will go and see you. Onu maribu onu moyele lekele no lele na pule na unko. Ole kwa nuru kwa funro. Iha. Yes. The prayers of the marriages can hold tomorrow. We pray for the protection of our surroundings, our bodies, and most importantly, our hearts. May we never experience the pain that comes from loving the wrong kind of men. Adam We pray for strength, strength of the heart, of the spirit, and most importantly, of our bodies. May we always, always be able to fight to protect our dignity, even when it is won against a thousand men. We pray for hope for our children, born and unborn. May we never find ourselves in a position where we feel we have made mistakes in raising our children. We pray for fertility. May we never have to share the kind of tears that come from barren women. When the time is right, may we be surrounded by the happy cries of our children. Adding to that, we pray for safety and smooth childbirth. May we never experience any form of complications that comes from childbirth. And may we live long enough to see the growth of our children and live long enough to carry our third generation. We pray for good judgment and character. May we always remember that those qualities are more valuable to a woman than any amount of money or power. for women as we think like men and act like ladies. We pray that our young girls will grow to be like them. 
we all look at other societies that are girls, they are women who all want to emulate ours. They want to be like our maidens. There's something unique about you. Something I've never seen in any other. Your resilience is second to none. Thank you for standing by me all through. I should be the one thanking you for marrying me finally. <laughs> and my honor, I promise to always love you. Oh, I love you, baby. Thank you. Can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. 